Hey everybody, Coffee and Chaos here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. So, it's been a hot minute since I've done any Anno videos, and so I've got a few things to talk about. First things first, um, I actually did have an original episode 26 and 27, I believe they were, or 25 and 26. Um, the first episode of those two was horribly corrupted. The first 15 minutes was uh, video and audio, but then after that, all the audio was gone. And after looking at both of those videos and trying to fix it, I realized that they were both just kind of low quality to begin with. So I figured I'd just jump in and do a bit of a summary. And really, the only thing that happened was um, I worked through the first couple stages of building the dam in Manola, and I worked through a bunch of the quests here in Ambesa, um, starting to work towards getting our research institute. So, all in all, not all that much was really lost from the actual building of the game. Um, apart from that, the only other thing I really want to talk about is I want to give a special shout out to my very first member, and that is Emil Hubbard. Emil Hubbard, thank you so much for joining me in, with this membership. Uh, basically, a membership equates to about a thousand views as monetarily for the channel. So that's a huge, huge thing for me, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, so here, oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, if you haven't seen it, I did do a sponsored video for the release of the console edition of Anno 1800. So that was a very, very awesome thing. And thanks again to Ubisoft for sponsoring me through that. That was awesome. Um, what other things do we have to touch on? What other things have happened? Oh, that is the other thing. Um, the anniversary update recently came out. In fact, about five days ago. So on the 4th, they released the anniversary uh, update, which is the final update to Anno 1800 and did a couple nice little quality of life things. So things like... Um, and colorful garments. Yes, yes. Uh, wands of Timber and a few other goods um, for lifestyle needs that didn't give a full coin now do. Um, I think Flower for uh, farmers in the old world is another one that they increased. So a lot of these lifestyle goods that didn't give a full coin uh in return for providing them with the good they've gone ahead and fixed that um there's also the new stamp system so this is very cool hey what's this <gasps> what is the skin painter do what now i i was about to talk about the stamps but select a building to apply the next skin you own click and drag to change skins for every building you select Wait, do, do do what now? I I'm gonna need to play with that a little bit later. I don't know how that works, but uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna look at that. Um. So, anyways, stamps. What are stamps? Well, stamps are basically like copy paste, except you create a stamp that you are forever able to use across all of your playthroughs. Um, it saves across profiles. So let's just say we wanted to do an base uh, um, market center. Up, 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 up. If I can actually spell. Wow. Okay. So now, anytime I go to stamps while I'm in Embesa, select that stamp. And you can plop that down wherever you'd like. And even rotate it just like all other um, blueprints, like copy-paste. So, yeah, it, actually, that's the best way to describe it. It's basically blueprints for Anno. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, so, yeah, these common centers, I can copy that. Actually, here's a good question. If I go back here. Okay, so it's unique to each biome. Okay, so Old World and Cape Trelawney share things. I, I messed around with the pig farms here, so I did one that was pig farm left, so you have the uh, silo on the left-hand side, pig farm right, silo on the right-hand side, and then pig farm double, which has back-to-back. -back. So you can do that and that, and, you know, have a four 
tile wide farm basically so yeah that's gonna make things a lot easier if i can get used to using it i'm i'm gonna need to remember to use that a lot more um so bear with me it might not come naturally at first as i tend to like to build things on my own you know i like i like the struggle i'm i'm a masochist that way um so the other thing that I really wanted to work on is I wanted to work on a few of these quests because I looked it up. I'm only three or four quests away from having our research center, and I'd really like to knock that out. So let's see what we can do here. Um, all right, so Archibald, perhaps you could introduce us Empire to Empire. Oh, he's really disdainful of everything. Um, uh, da 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 the Queen's Ambassador. I come to you in person, since Her Majesty's letters do not seem to be reaching you. They contain, should you not already be aware, copies of a protectorate agreement requiring your swift signature. Such an agreement would guarantee and basis protection against envious forces in the region, and leave your people's future in the safe hands of the Queen. An offer any judicious tributary to the Crown would be delighted with. Okay, so that just means that they want to turn Ambesa into a protectorate, but that just means that they want to use the... Yeah, <laughs> you mean to make Ambesa a vassal. Yeah. Um... Emperor Katama. Hear that, Vinium? Our steward here adds their voice to ours. Sir Archibald, I happen to agree with my steward. This proposal is outrageous. Imperial Ambassa does not need what you call protection, but a fair alliance, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, equal to equal. That I would be ready to discuss. Uh... Yeah, it'd be right to agree to such an alliance. An alliance? Preposterous. She is not my queen. She is THE queen. OUR queen. Why am I even here if you're going to behave like a pair of parochial stick-in-the-muds? Now, if you don't mind, I shall take my leave, as these farcial negotiations are over. Oh, boy. Outrageous! Arrogant! How dare he think himself an equal to Her Majesty! Pompous little kinglet! My bowels churn afresh! Of all oh. the useless... Why did I ever agree to come back to these wretched shores? It's pointless. <laughs> Uh, man, if I ever saw one, and you say he's usually amicable. <laughs> usually. Okay, so. I hold no ill will towards Sir Blick. It takes time to accustom oneself to new surroundings. Bring him food, and he may yet soften. Uh, where are my ships? Here we go. Such fine aromas, crisp and full. The pale red flesh in heavy broth. <laughs> A dish to reveal the hearts of men. Yeah, sure. What he said. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab... What is it? Two tons of seafood stew. Since you have had time to reconnoiter, I wonder if you couldn't on help me with some blanks on our survey maps. Oh, he wants me to do something else for him. Mapping and Besa. Alright. So. Gonna go ahead and send this ship out. Um, the time away that I've spent has not been, uh, without bearing fruit. Obviously, I had the Anno 1800 video with Ubisoft, but I also took about, honestly, a month and a half, two months to really just kind of take a break. It's... Actually, my last upload, other than that video, was 50 days ago. Um, really just needed kind of a reset when it comes to how I'm handling things on the channel. So, to that end, I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to be getting back into the swing of things with Anno. This series isn't dead. We're going to keep going with it. But I am going to reduce the number of videos I'm putting out a week. The pace of three videos a week with one series was wearing me out because I didn't get to do other things that I really wanted to do. I am planning to expand into some other games here and there, but I have a better idea of how to do it. So I'm going to be recording for the next several weeks on just Anno alone, and we're going to have Monday episodes every Monday for the foreseeable future. I'm trying to knock out two of those videos today. Um, and looking at a couple of other titles to expand into, I'm going to keep those a secret for now until I get some content made for them, but could be some fun new stuff for anybody that likes strategy games in general. Uh, some, one a little bit more war-based and one a little bit more, uh, oh, construction and factory-based. 
So, we made it over here. Let's go ahead and turn that in. Oh, so we did both at once. What with the heat and the terrain, but the idea is we name every landmark we stumble across. Oh crap, I threw that overboard. Spices. No, no, that won't do. I'd be burning up inside like the sixth circle. I hear Sir Blake is too poorly to explore the lands he lays claim to. It is the heat, surely. Shall we bring some of Enbesa to him? Oh boy. So, photograph... Oh, this is... This is a garbage trading post and it's going to really bother Archie. I can already see it. Wait, is this... Is that... Oh, 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 no! Oh, okay. <laughs> I accidentally clicked off screen. Um... There are writings housed in the library of Kidusi and Ituni that were old even before your old world took to the seas. Okay, there we go. Kidusi's priests cling stubbornly to a faith long forgotten. Will not join in Besa until the day I decree their dogma the only truth. We're doing multiple things at once right now. The learned men are wise but wary of novelty. Take care not to startle them with your camera. Okay. Next, it's going to be Angareb. The pirates of Angareb deem themselves princes, inhabiting the hallowed palace of the Elamais. But the luster of its glories dulled long ago. Ever have the princes of Angareb balked at new horizons? We must parley, lest they turn their guns to your ships. All right. So why will the Wahadesha photo? Wahadesha expects a delivery. Take it to them, and in so doing, ah. learn of their troubles. Not a great one. A time will come when we confront those who oppose in Beza. But first, we must tend to those who petition us daily for succor. Angareb. There is beauty and even some wisdom hidden here behind those high and headstrong walls. I'd very much like to restore this island once we get the chance to. There we go. That wasn't a bad one. I was born here, in less happy times. It was rough sailing, but my mother and I took care of each other. <clears throat> he need not know our differences with these lands remain. Unity soon shall mend us. Fair enough. Now... Natural beauty, certainly. But Her Majesty did not send me here to sightsee. She has great hopes that Embeza might fall in and become a powerful industrial cog. This city is a magnet for genius. Not a great photo. We're going to get that done, though. You call this progress as though it were one of only two paths to be chosen. Hmm. Interesting. To such approval from the Arania is no small feat. On such pillars will you build my capital. What I else? meant approval for Her Majesty's Empire, not Katima's. <laughs> Confound it! Why was I not informed of this? <laughs> oh, I could see things so amping up. But one man, without allies and support here, he needs to see this for negotiations to resume peacefully and in good intent. So... Expansion? This will not do at all. 
Stem the tide. Her Majesty greatly appreciates and rewards loyalty. So we've got a choice, and I'm going with the easy one, which is just maintain the elders that we already have. That's that's the easy path. Now, what's this? We've got a group of engineers. Research Institute, what a brilliant idea. It may take time to attract international scholars, but why not build the we facility itself now? An institute worthy of the world-renowned scholars desirous to push back the boundaries of knowledge. Okay, where is the building? Aha! We have it. I don't want to build it here, though. I would like to build it over here in Crown Falls. Um, you know what? I'm going to drop it right over here. Now, what do you need? Oh, gosh. We need concrete. Err. Of course we do. Um, let's get some limestone. Can I make a little bit of concrete? Okay, do we have steel? Yes, we have steel. So oh, it's yes. going to be steel and cement. Like the butt. Great. Build a second one because we can afford it. I will and meet yeah. our guest with a worthy gift. A comprehensive chronicle of our great land. The Epic of Lions. Come find me to discuss compiling it. Okay, so I think we're at a standstill on that quest for now. For now. Oh, I do want to build this over here, though. I just remembered. Because we'll be able to actually place something that works with the concrete factories as well. There's a uh, trade item. Um, What do I want to do? You know, I think it's time we start working through this quest chain as well. Let's start knocking out quests and start building things up. Um, and we don't have... Let's move you over here. I'm probably going to rearrange a little of this harbor, but for now, that works. Um, I do need to go ahead and work on getting... Where's my harbor building? I need a Docklands. This is the first step in our empire over here. So, another thing I was looking at is imports and exports. What are some ways that we can work with this to make our lives easier without uh, gaming the system too much? Like you know, making steam motors and only exporting steam motors for a whole bunch of stuff. I wanted to use a broad range of exports without exploiting the game too much. And what I've landed on is I'm going to start with fish. I'm going to import potatoes. Um, with that, I will start getting enough potatoes that I can make a lot of excess schnapps. Excess, wow. Um, excess schnapps that can be sold and excess potatoes that can be sold as well and with that i can use my second slot that i'm going to start building now in fact i just want to get like let's just get a whole bunch of oops wrong button um there we go welcome to trelawney graveyard to thousands the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> Old Nate. What your queenie wants is a diving bell. I could, uh, lease you my prototype. Sure. It's all prepared. New orders. Oh, we got a paper again. Being a prototype, I will Do ask you to sign Attention a waiver for, for your life before you use it. Start working through some quests. Get diving. Hold the crane. Do you think I got this? Got some scrap. Throwing stuff away. Bring that rubbish to me. I'll polish it up. I'm 
I'm trying to remember, did I do anything else in this region? No, I really... I really only grabbed islands. Like, I didn't do a whole lot. Yeah, we'll complete that quest. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some potatoes. Try to come in back up with nothing but scrap. Oh, watch out for the octopuses. They like to keep all the good stuff under wraps. We put I Yeah, that works. Um, okay. Head back here. Old Nate gave us new coordinates. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, run into some other factions. So we'll do that. She wants me to build a pier. Uh, can I get that built? No, don't have windows. So, not right this second. Can I expand my window production? The finishing touches. Yes, but I need more artisans. So we really need to build up our workforce here. Hmm. Oh, that's another thing, by the way. Uh, I was experimenting a little bit with these um, advanced firehouses, advanced uh, police stations. They are very, very handy. You can do all sorts of things because they expand your range. And then if you have brick roads as well, look at the range on this thing now. It's basically this whole region. So I could definitely do some cool things with these uh, new station types. Um, definitely plan on working with that. And eventually we're going to unlock the advanced hospital. We're just not quite there yet. Yeah, I think we've got, we've got 600 farmers. Did I have an area set up? Yes, I do. Um, wow, look at all of this. Well, first things first, they very clearly need a warehouse. Um, another thing we could use is brick roads. Let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to go ahead and grab something like this. Pay old Nate for these coordinates. I only hope we are the first to find what's down there. Ah, oh, here we go. Cutscene. I am Vashko Oliveira. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Juao of Akaroa. That's La Carona to the plebs. We have come only to pay our respects beside the grave of a once great empire. It's obvious why they're here. It's the same reason we're here. For the emblematic power that scepter will give whoever owns it. But we can't afford a war with La Corona. Feeble though they may be, so I'm afraid you'll have to rely on wits to beat this Olivira to it. Well, here we are. Let's engage the diving bell. Uh, we'll head back here. Hi. No, I wanted to. I wanted to click it. How do you turn it on? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I had to left click it. I, I right clicked on that and dropped it into the hold, and then right clicked again, dropped it into the water. Oh gosh. Could this be? This is the journal of my father's strategist, Nadeski. 
This waterlogged log is in a terrible state. Did you not bring any arms oh, no, for us, did you? He may have been on the winning side, but Father always said Admiral Nadeski's carelessness had meant the scepter being lost to the waves. Yeah, about that. Okay. What do I want to do? I kind of want to get Bad Hanover started. I've got some wood to start. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Now, show me the Docklands. Yes, we can get that started as well. One, two, three. And pull that down about there. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, and we're going to start with fish. Bring in potatoes. What can I grow on this island? Yeah, I can't even grow that stuff, so that works out perfectly. Um. All right, I want the city on this side. This one has fur and niter. Ooh. Um. All right, let's say we had a road going here. A road going across there. This will be my main road going out of the harbor and onto the other side of the island. Uh, can I cross here? That would be a very dramatic bridge, wouldn't it? I think right about there is probably best. Probably don't need to be spending that wood right off the bat, but... Eh, I feel like it. So, sue me. Uh, let's see... Yeah, that works. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a waterfront. Uh, there's no other farms we really care about, so we can jump right into doing... Let's see here. Get a marketplace somewhere. How do I want to build my homes? That works. Let's give ourselves a road coming out. Grab both of those. We're going to shift that slightly. might do a bit of more of an elongated grouping. Do a road there, do a road there. Hey, what? I'll do roads running there. Grab, oops, cancel. 
Put those there, put those there. You reached a new milestone. works. Alright, next thing we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and get our timber production going. For now, I'm just going to do something like that. And run that there. You can reach, you can reach. Great. And that's the start of Bad Hanover. Uh, let's see if we can lay out some more blueprinting. You know, just because we can't build it right this second doesn't mean we can't build it at all. Let's go back to the harbor. Go ahead and add the key. Yeah, I think I like that better. That's a start. So that'll give us all of our fish. Um, let's plan out a pub. Right there. We can figure out some work clothes. Uh, how many do I need? I just did like four. And could I have a brick road that actually reaches the dock? Holy crap, I can. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and get a sheep farm. want to do about they actually show you all the modules now instead of only the sheep folds when you're in blueprint mode which is awesome that was something that was desperately needed before <clears throat> how many slots one two three four mm. you know what if I put these on the far side Oh, we got some wood that came in. Oh, I bet I had a construction route. Moving goods back and forth. Oh, all the better. You know, what if I just did four of these? And just say forget it to the, uh, the wheat, the grain. I mean, it works. Give the people fish. That's what they needed. Give them the framework artisans. Build the field. Satisfies that need. And we'll go ahead and do the schnapps. Mm, tell you what. Let's have schnapps distilleries... kind of like to separate these fields a little bit. And let's go ahead and add... Where is it? City. Fire station. Can add some trees around that. And we're going to go straight over here. And we'll make some schnapps. So 
So that'll put out any fires that should arise. Um, we've got our two mines here that I'd like to tap into. Let's go ahead and decorate these while we're at it. Gosh, it feels so good to get back into the swing of things. I really have missed Anno. Okay, we've got our mines wrapped up. Um, let's go ahead and get some parks. Do some mature trees here. Mature trees along this side. And there as well. And we're going to go back to our temperate grove for the rest. Yeah, that works. Perfect. Uh, how many workers do I need for all this? I only need 25 apiece. That's enough extra fish. So in 10 minutes, I'll be able to export fish. Um, let's actually go over here. We want to set a limiter of 50. Whoops. Um, I will go ahead and upgrade that. Oh, can I upgrade? Oh, heck yeah. Large trading post. Now we've got 350 tons of storage. I actually really like that. Um, let's see what else. Let's get our people. Build all those. Build those. A couple of those. Great. So, it's going to take a minute before we start earning enough from our fish. Although our needs are slowly ramping up. Is that bar actually moving or no? Hmm. Maybe I actually need to build some more homes first. But having excess fish is actually to our benefit in order to get the first run of potatoes. Um, after that, I would really like to go ahead and start figuring out the exports office. Let's do something like this. And we got loading wharfs. In fact, what I might do... What if we had a depot? Now, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I know I'm going to want depots. I know I'm going to want some piers. I did one of those over here. But they're not all touching. That's the one downside. Yeah, it doesn't quite look right, does it? Hmm. 
Now, that is something I could copy, though. What if we duplicated these somehow? Oh, that's actually... Here we go. Figured it out. So, I want to have my peers up front, right? I want to have some repair cranes thrown in. I would like to have a harbor master's office. Oh man, how many of these can I build? Is that the max? Okay, that's the max. Uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this. And we're going to drop that that way. That's all for the free harbor space. Um, anything else would require me to expand out. But honestly, that kind of gets it. Now, the one difference is I'm going to need you over here. Um, I'm going to need something to attach these. I don't think I'm going to need a full docklands here with all of the trimmings. I'm just... I'm kind of just going overboard at the moment. Because I think the damn things look cool. Hell, that works out. Could be worse. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and add our second export office. Uh, let's get. Do, do, do we need schnapps? Oops. Uh, schnapps here. And for that, we want to bring in potatoes as well. And we're going to need more. Can I get a third one? Nah, I need more bricks. Just say the word. Although it looks like I just dropped off some bricks, maybe. Possibly. Not quite. Oh, uh, we got a lot of wood. Let's go ahead and build up the rest of the village here. Done. And we'll go ahead and get our pub. We'll bring in a little bit more cash for us. So how are we looking for other goods? Uh, we need more work clothes. There we go. And yeah, we're making some money off that. Great. Uh, I kind of like to move our wood production back over here. Which is actually okay because that's in line with how this island is going to work in the first place. Uh, let's do something like... Sawmills over here. of a virtuoso. Cool. Make sure that's still 100%. Not quite. 
people celebrate your leadership. The All right, that's 100%. Celebrate your leadership. See if I can get 100% over here without interfering with that one. Not bad. Kind of a scenic location, honestly. This is what I want the rest of the playthrough to be about. I just, I want to enjoy the beauty of this damn game. It did such a great job. If you just take a second to stand back and look at what they've done. It's pretty phenomenal. I'm gonna add one more tile there. Um <laughs> missing. I think we can get rid of you. Get rid of that, get rid of you. How are we doing? Slowly but surely starting to make some money. Can I build another export office yet? Not quite. Still need more bricks. We'll get there. Um... That was a weird bug. They did do a lot of bug fixing. Um... My game no longer crashes on Alt-Tab, except your one time it did do it anyways, but <laughs> not like it used to be. It used to crash every single time I Alt-Tabbed. Starting to get quite a few fish. We're up to Epic. How long until we make it all the way to Legendary? That's the first thing I want to do, is I want to get my fish exports all the way up to Legendary. Uh, if we manage to do that, then it's a 2 to 1... Because right now we're at, what, 1.6 times, and it goes to 2.0 exchange ratio. So we'd end up getting, I think, just about two potatoes to every fish, plus other things. We could always use fish to trade for some other stuff as well. I'll probably see if I can get schnapps and work clothes into these two tiles. Schnapps is about to level up. Pigs, I'm going to move over here for now. Bricks, they're tier 3 for now. I think for the next tier after that, I want to move towards soap, sewing machines, and spectacles. Reason being, they are used for a lot of other things. Um, I also do want to spend some time getting our uh, canned food up. Uh, I think I'm going to end up doing some things like importing the actual peppers or goulash, something to that effect in order to create more. I don't think I need to really bump up the production of this right now. Uh, do I want to go ahead and get into my workers? Yeah, I think I can. We love you, What's we holding does. you back? Oh, nothing. So we'll go ahead and unlock some workers, oh, yeah, and yeah. Oh. they are going to want sausages. I don't mind getting that started. Um, let's go ahead and turn this. Oh, actually, let's actually remember what I have. Double pig farm. Tell you what. I'm going to move it over here in order to not have that background because <laughs> there was like that it leaves that ghost behind of where it currently is um i didn't want that distracting me as i'm trying to figure out a good place for this it's gonna be kind of like a complex to be honest you know what that works out
And we'll go ahead and put a warehouse. Say right there. So that way they have easy access. And let's add some mature trees here and here and all along the outside of that farm. Don't need anybody necessarily being too close to all those pigs. Nasty, dirty, smelly creatures. And there's our warehouse. Now, with that, we're going to want to get the slaughterhouse built up. Um, let's actually go... Where is it? There we go. A low wall. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do this. Um, where is it? Now, this isn't just going to be uh, sausages. It's also going to end up being our soap, I think. So, let's see. With that, I'd be able to get... Another, what, four? Which is going to end up being two soap factories. And that's going to be a few of these at the end. One there, one there, one there. I want to kind of like turn them all four directions. Now, show me the low wall. We're going to delete this and this. Reset that connection. Yeah. Pigs can reach all the way through. Not bad. Uh, can I expand my population a little bit further? I think I can. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of room for more workers. You reach a new milestone. Uh, we've got plenty of work clothes. Hey, we're starting to get schnapps. Good deal. Must have gotten my first potatoes. How many do I have? I have... Nine left. <laughs> that's not quite going to be enough, is it? But that's okay. That just means that we're starting to gather some fish. Yeah, we've got 86 fish in storage. So next time around, we'll trade even more fish away. And any schnapps that we happen to have left over... Yeah, that works. Um, can I bump this up to expand the range? See the range cuts right there? Now all of this is in range. 
And it goes a pretty decent ways over here as well. So that'll cover us from any potential fires. I think I'd like to get a road going over here. Great. And let's head back to decorations. We're going to go back to our walls. Are there any other mines that I can go ahead and do that with? Let's go ahead and get these done. Ooh, how do I want to go about this? see here. You know what? They're going to be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and add a road here. Run that up that way. Great. Um, what else, what else, what else? I really need a break out of this style of building. I've got all this room for doing some really great city building, and I've just been doing the same thing over and over again. I've got this perfect island to really experiment with doing a split design of having all my industry on one side, all of my buildings on another. I kind of wish I hadn't gone so crazy on the pigs and stuff. I really want to get some fur abundance. Although, honestly, I don't need to create a whole lot of furs here. I really only need to create enough to get started. If I can start my fur coats, I can then trade fur coats away to get more furs. Um, in fact, let's take a quick peek here. I will go ahead and buy myself another export office. And after doing that, let's see here. Uh, show me fur coats. Here we go. So if I trade fur coats, I can then go ahead and bring in, let's see, furs, 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 furs. So one fur coat becomes 2.49 furs. That's not bad. So we just need to create some fur coats. Um, actually, better yet, can I get... Oh, I can get cotton fabric. So it's one to three to get cotton fabric. Um, let's see. I'd really like to build up as many of these damn things as I can. <laughs> Let's get a thousand. Really no reason not to. It's going to take you down to nothing, but you're going to build it right back up since I am I know I'm already overproducing on fish. I don't mind using up all of my fish to get potatoes. I'm going to get them right back. So that's fine. And then whenever this fills up, it'll just stop importing potatoes for fish. Um, in fact, in theory, once I get this chain started and I have enough potatoes to make my schnapps, in theory I shouldn't need to worry about potatoes anymore for that. I can trade fish out for something else. So fish could be that's how you do it. Our fish can be a universal starter. 3.3 fish to one cotton fabric. So that's the thing. Whenever I'm starting a new good, Every half hour or so, I can trade out one of these and trade fish for that. Oh, that's actually great. So as of right now, I don't have anything I can do with this. Um, 
yeah, we're just going to leave that as is. And gosh, we're coming up on an hour already. So I'm feeling good about this. We're, we're coming back to the series in style. We've made a little bit of progress here at Bad Hanover. We made a little bit of progress on uh, getting some other things done. I really need to come back to Crown Falls, though. I think I'm procrastinating. Um, I need to get this built. But in doing so, well, actually, I'm not procrastinating that hard because... Why don't we have... Oh my goodness, we never built a warehouse here. Yeah, that, um... So, how long will it take us to get enough? It's one per minute, so we're getting two per minute. And we need a grand total of 75, so that's easily going to be half an hour to build up enough concrete. We also still need to build up on steel. It's a surprise inspection. Um, which we're not building that much of. You know, maybe I need to do a deep dive here in this area. I think I need to build up the main wharf here. Um, especially for our exports offices. And start doing some of the same concepts, but I also really want to ramp up my heavy industry, my construction goods industry, as the construction goods from this island are going to end up supplying most of the other islands. Uh, we've ramped that up. I think that it'll make everything else go more smoothly. And we could also cut down on some of the excess from some of our other industries here. Maybe consolidate things down. Yeah, some of this stuff could do with a, a bit of a do-over. Like, we don't necessarily need to have all the sheep farms in the world, We're taking but every care. we could have lots of framework knitters and really condense industry down and bring wool in using um, exports. So maybe that's more of what we'll end up doing. We'll set, we'll set some farms up just to have some production, but the bulk of our production is going to end up coming from imports. I think I actually like that idea. Yeah, that's the thing. So anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for being here, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you smash that sub button. Best way to support the channel. If you really want to be crazy like Emil, go ahead and hit that membership button. It's a great way to support me if you just want to help me out and you feel like doing so. That's a great way to go about it. And as always, leave your comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.